the mo one of the most, if not the most polarizing hot sauce on the planet. Okay, alrighty, what are these things actually freaking called? These are loaded truff nacho fries. And this is, in my opinion, this is a really polarizing thing for Taco Bell to be doing. This is what it looks like. I got it without sour cream because sour cream is one of the most foul things to ever enter this planet. Um, so, all right, what do you, okay. What you get when you order this is, I'm on Truff's website right now. Truff is a hot sauce. It is a truffle hot sauce. So you're going to get, hold on, I, got, I took a screen grab from it. Um, it's actually what you actually get. Okay, so you're going to get cheese. I don't know what that means. Nacho cheese, you're going to get cheese, nacho cheese sauce, seasoned fries, reduced fat sour cream. I went with no reduced fat sour cream. Steak, tomatoes, and truff sauce. So, truff is a truffle hot sauce. And holy dear God, does it taste or smell like truffles. Um, this is outrageously truffly. So, truff is a truffle hot sauce. Uh, it smells like truffles, which is a mushroom. And it has a very, very strong flavor, a very, very strong aroma. And I'm very, I'm, I'm, it's so interesting that Taco Bell made this decision. Because this is probably like, in my opinion, the mo one of the most, if not the most polarizing hot sauce on the planet. Like, people that like this hot sauce love this hot sauce. And people that hate this ha hot, hot sauce, well, really hate this hot sauce. I don't hate this hot sauce, but... It is not one that I'm normally going for. So this is what it looks like without the sour cream going on on it. So uh, you're getting okay. There is okay. There is shredded cheese, cheese sauce, Taco Bell steak, which is Taco Bell steak, um, tomatoes, and then you're gonna get this truffle sauce. And normally you get the sour cream. Anyways, all right. Um, I'm gonna try to get like a little bit of all of it in one bite. And see how it is. I'm gonna try to get a lot of this truff sauce to kind of see exactly how it all works together. Okay, that's a little bit too much steak. Let's get a bunch of fries and tons of this truff sauce. I got like the whole like little portion of truff. So, all right, let's see how this goes. It's actually better than I thought this was gonna be. It like doesn't, it doesn't taste the same. I need to try to taste the, the truff just like on its own. For people that like truff hot sauce, I think they're gonna absolutely love this. So, like, something about the combination of the fries, the steak, the nacho cheese, specifically the nacho cheese, and the truff sauce, sauce. <coughs> It, like, all blends together and makes this, like, creamy situation. It kind of takes away some of the, like, truffleness. Ever so slightly of this truffle sauce. Because the sauce itself is, like, overwhelmingly truffle forward. And something about the way that this comes together, it kind of, like, it mutes the flavor part of the truffles a little bit. The aroma is still absolutely 100,000% there. Like, this is so truffle forward. Um, but the flavor kind of mutes it down. So, if you're a person who likes truff, I think that you're really going to like this. If you're, like, into Taco Bell fast food fries, like, if all of these the worldly things are coming together for you, like, I think this is going to be something that you really, really enjoy. Um, otherwise, I mean, it's a very, um, uh, it's a very Taco Bell product, um, like, the steak is awful. Like, it's not good at all. But, the fries are good. And who doesn't like nacho cheese? You know? Like, heat scale on this is, like, clearly a one. Not even a one. Like, there is some sort of, like, detectable level of heat. But it's very, very small. Okay. So, for truffle people, for truff people, you're going to really enjoy this. For me... Um, it's, it's not my, as I'm sitting here eating it, it's not really my cup of tea, but, um, if you like truff, you're going to like this. Okay, in the description below is going to be a link to a couple things, so, uh, I got some merch, and check out my merch, it's right below this video, it's all printed in-house, 
Uh, I got a lot of different stuff. And the Ghost of Saffron Tees, tees based off of dreams that I've had. It's all printed in-house from a, our directed garment printer. Super, super high quality. Uh, all handmade things. So if you're interested in that, please check it out. Regardless, I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there. And uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.